Love is the most incredible of all experiences that touch our lives. It creates for us the world in which we want to live. From the beginning of our lives, we know that love is the power that comforts and protects us. It's the one feeling we can depend on through life's ups and downs. It allows us to be ourselves and to feel self-confident. Today, as you two join together and commit your love to each other, remember the lessons of love that you have always known. I'd like to welcome you all and thank you all for helping celebrate this very special occasion, the marriage of my daughter, Amy, to James. As you all know, this is a very special day for me as the father of the bride. I'm standing here before you sharing this moment, which is all difficult for me as the dad letting a little girl go. Amy, I feel blessed and overwhelmed and joyed and emotional. I knew this day, sorry, I knew, I knew this was going to be hard for me today, which is probably why I've left the speech so late. But I look at you now and I see you only in this room. This amazing journey began at Neston Cricket Club, as many of you know quite well. And although it may be a surprise to you that Amy actually made the first move. <laughs> However, I think this was more due to the fact that she was, and still is, way out of my league, so I didn't even really bother trying. <laughs> Nevertheless, it wasn't long before I soon realised what I had. A kind, intelligent, beautiful girl who I just clicked with. Um, time has flown by and she has grown into the beautiful bride that you see sat next to me today and I could never have dreamt of having such a perfect wife. Marriage will be a journey, an adventure where each of you will love, care for and support each other and you'll also form a circle of love that gathers in your whole family. So James and Amy, you are now at this start of a new life together. It therefore gives me the very greatest pleasure to say, you are now husband and wife. When you realise you want to spend the rest of your life with somebody, you want the rest of your life to start as soon as possible. You don't marry the person you can live with, you marry the person you can't live without, which is exactly what James and Amy have done.